Welcome back to Wicked Rides. So these are uh, LED cubes from Zune on Amazon. Uh, they can be for any vehicle, it doesn't matter. Uh, you just have to wire it up. Now, so it comes with these brackets, these curved ones. Boop. So these curved brackets here, and it's supposed to put two screws into here, and that way it can rotate. But it doesn't work. Uh, this is actually the second set of these kind of cubes that came with this bracket, and these brackets are just junk. I mean, it, you can't use them unless you're going to end up drilling holes into your vehicle, which nobody ever wants to do. So, made these brackets uh, to be able to work, and we're only using one bolt. There is a second nut in there, if you can see, uh, because like I said, for this, one on each, but it ain't going to work. So one, and bolt it to the truck on the ram, and run these wires, which, as you can see, the wire is only maybe seven, seven and a half inches long. So that's my only gripe so far before we get these in and see how bright they are, is they don't give you not even close to enough wire. But just run to your nearest hardware store, uh, automotive store, and grab some wire. Uh, it, it's that simple, and then just used connectors and heat shrunk them. So they are waterproof, they're good to go. We're gonna tie these into the rear lights so to make it brighter. Uh, if you guys watch the F-150 video, they make a huge difference over the factory reverse lights that, that's never enough. These are gonna change a whole lot. Um, and of course, we're gonna show you afterwards what it looks like. But let's go ahead and get the tail lights removed, look at the wires and get these spliced in. All right, so like I said, you're gonna wire it up to the reverse lights. So on this ram, to take these reverse lights out, you just gotta remove these two bolts here, one there, one there, they're Torx bits. Uh, these little ones right here. I don't know what size Torx, it was laying in my box and it fit. But that's how you pull it out, and then you pull directly back, and it pulls right out, and then just unscrew the bulbs. All right, so these are the two wires and the reverse lights uh, on the, classic ram um, and of course the positive and negative from the rear lights all you're going to do the black wire in the factory is the negative and the white with red on the passenger side is the positive it, there's only two wires more than likely nine times out of ten the black is going to be the po uh, negative so just do it like that already did the driver side and it's already done so now passenger side same thing and how i just explained it let's go ahead and quick splice these in. If you've never used a quick splice, you just push the one wire in. There's little grooves, see them? Push it in the whole way. Put the new wire in the other slot, squeeze that metal piece down, it crimps them together, and you're done. Let's go ahead and do that now. And there they're both on. And you see the amount of extra light that it does give you. Take a look, both of them are on. These things, they are bright as hell. And that's exactly what you want when you're backing up. You want brighter light. Okay, you don't want to be backing up when you still can't see because these bulbs just absolutely suck. Um, now, of course, you can change them out to LEDs as well. They're, those are still halogen. I mean, it'll give you a little bit better brightness, but there's no comparing to these, the cubes. I mean, just look at it. It's gonna make it a lot easier to reverse. Uh, maybe you're backing up to a trailer, hooking up in the dark, something like that. You need these. Again, Zoom uh, Cubes, links in the description. See y'all next time.